golden pistols. But wait a second, guys. There is something next to her who almost looks like a giant with stiletto heels. Who could that be? Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Mr. Stan coming back at you with another review. It's literally almost midnight, I would say midnight Hong Kong time, and if you guys are over there on the other side of the world, it's probably gonna be noon time for you guys. I just wanted to stay up later because I was so stoked about the purchases I made. Without further ado, the one thing that everyone's excited to see is definitely coming right here, guys. Right here, that is right. Everyone has been talking about this figure. Everyone's saying it's all sold out, it's hard to find. Uh, even for me, I actually I haven't seen anyone quite review it yet on YouTube, so I figured I wanna stay up late, I got it today, I wanna show you guys exactly what you get if you guys can get a hold of one of these. And it is the Baroness, that's right, Baroness on her Cobra Coil. That's right, it's a Cobra Coil. So this is again, another addition to the G.I. Joe Classified series that has been hitting like hard, hitting all over the world. Everyone seems to be buying up these toy lines and you know, it's just becoming harder and harder to come by. Again, here in Hong Kong, buying Hasbro products is quite expensive here, guys. To be honest, we're all the way across the other side because Hasbro obviously will sell more to the States, more to Canada. Here in Hong Kong, we don't get that stuff. We're good if we get things like Takara Tommy, Japanese products. We get like exclusive items, again, that are from Asia. You know, that's the stuff we can get good deals on. This, however, not so much, but I am still shocked at how difficult it is for everyone around to find them man and the prices that people are paying are crazy so in any case okay you guys already know how much i had really pretty much paid for this this is roughly about almost 70 us bucks and this is coming from a shop just a toy shop this is not coming from toys r us or anywhere in fact i checked out toys r us it wasn't having anything man they all were gone everything was gone so i'm assuming wherever this is going it's worldwide phenomena of like these figures just being you know, kapoof. It's just that difficult. It's almost like worse than Houdini, right? But in any case, guys, 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 for this review today, I'm going to go ahead and not only show you the Baroness, but I've already seen, okay, I could be wrong. I haven't really seen a review on this girl right here, which is what everybody has been so badly wanting to find, right? And again, I pretty much haven't really collected Joes in a long time. The only Joe I first collected was a couple of days ago that I got from looking at that fans expo and that was the, the Supreme Snake Cobra Commander special version and I thought it was amazing. So I dove deeper to look at the G.I. Joe line and you know, sure enough, I'm I'm actually quite impressed. I'm, I'm going back into the G.I. Joe phase, not only, you know, since I was back in school ages ago, but this time around, it's just sparked an interest back into me. So I'm definitely cool about collecting again with the Joes, guys. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start off by looking at the box. So you guys, you can take a look. There is the Baroness box in the front. You can take a look. She's got the Kerbal Coil. She's got her helmet. She's strutting the same exact iconic black Cobra uniform that we all grew up to see in the 80s that she wore. Okay, she's also got, okay, a couple of weapons. Okay, she's got pretty much, you can see, uh, let's see here. I would say two, like, semi-assault rifles, you know, Cobra rifles. I don't exactly know what model and make are these because I'm not a weapons dealer myself. Okay, uh, let's look at the back of the box, guys. So on the back of the box, you're looking at something which is called Cobra Island. So I guess this is basically their new lineup for what they want to promote is, you know, a video game which I heard about, which is going to come out, I think, for PlayStation or Xbox, maybe probably Xbox, coming out in October. And I'm actually stoked about playing this kind of video game. I haven't played a G.I. Joe video game for ages. I remember in the past, I used to play one on the arcade. Uh, the ones, you know, you used to put quarters in all the time. I thought... Well, that one is actually pretty good. But um, yeah, I haven't actually really played a G.I. Jigger game in ages, really. I, I, I think they came out with a couple titles, but nothing too big. Artwork over here on the side. So you guys can see there's Baroness again, right, in her animated version. Okay, you got some symbols over here on the side of the other part of the box. Okay, and then on the top, you got the number 13, because I think this is a 13th in the uh, wave edition, you could say, per se, uh, on the top of this series and set. 
Uh, I won't go too much detail in these two guys, guys, because again, everyone's pretty much seen these on other reviews and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go ahead and go over something you guys have already seen again. And in fact, it's not really a big deal because you guys either have it already or again, you guys are gonna, you know, in the process of getting it. This, however, I know everybody is really just hunting for. And again, like I said, I'm really surprised that actually we got it here in Hong Kong. I thought for sure, you know, it's not going to be coming here. And it's, it's just really strange how odds, ends, you know, special stuff, you know, can pop up halfway around the world, right? Okay, without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and start with the unboxing first, okay? So let's go ahead and unbox. Okay, looking good. All right, so from the side, we're going to go ahead and gently pull open and slide out the figure, hopefully, without having too much trouble. All right, okay, there we go. Here we go, and pull it. Oh, by the way, one more thing I wanted to ask, guys. You know, you always see these, like, you know, a plus four only, you know, not for children under four, uh, you know. To be honest, let's be real, guys. Nowadays, with these kind of toys, how many of you guys are gonna let your kids who are four years old, five years old, play with these guys was play with this line at all. Some of you may, but a majority of you I know are not. So don't lie, guys. I know what you're thinking. You're like, I'm gonna let my kid play with this. I'm gonna let Timmy play. I'm gonna let little Johnny play. No way. You're gonna go and play with the Smurfs. Go. <laughs> go, go. You know, we got it cheap at McDonald's for, you know, a Happy Meal. Jeez. All right. Here we go. So, all right. Here it goes, guys slide this out all right we're sliding this out there we go sliding it out there we go and oh there it is i mean it's not as grand entrance as the cobra commander in my opinion because obviously the box art on the cobra commander is just amazing but i think this also you know proves to be something worth you know looking detailed in guys really honestly i mean this thing here i think it's the fact that because it's so rare to find makes this one of the you know real iconic items that everybody wants to have in their collection for sure all right so in any case um we got that and oh you know take a look look at that do you guys remember what that is this definitely looks like a picture of the terror drone <laughs> That's right, Cobra Commander's base. You know, I never actually had the Cobras, I never had the Cobra Terradrome, I never had that base where you had that little, you guys had that, you know, that red, you know, um, half type of, you know, Cobra airplane that can fly on the middle, which is actually pretty cool. And then you had the little, um, the Cobra balls, uh, I forgot what they're called, anyways. Guys, don't don't hate me for it. I know I'm not Joe literate, it's been ages, but I knew those, those, those Cobra, you know, those Cobra, like, single pods that can, you know, just go up and down. I'll, I'll figure it out very soon. But anyways. All right, guys. We're going to take some close-up shots, okay? And then, you know, further uh, unbox and take her out for us to look more carefully. All right? Here we go. So there it is right out of the box. This is how exactly it's going to look like when you take the box out from the plastic, okay, encasing. Of course, it's still inside the plastic encasing. And we can see there is the Cobra coil. Wow. You look at that, okay? It's got a very nice Ducati type of, you know, feel, look to it. Of course, it's designed especially for Cobra. Then, of course, you're looking here, going and looking at the Baroness from toe to head. <laughs> then she's threatened two uh, guns of Kimbo, golden guns. And I believe she does have the gun holsters on the sides. So we'll take a look at that in a moment. But just take a look at that mold right there of her face. I gotta admit, Hasbro has really come a long way from the glasses, okay, to the nice lipstick and to the eyes. You know, hey, that's got a very Barbie, Barbie-esque, you know, kind of feel to it, you know, I guess, you know, if anything. And of course, she comes with a helmet. She's got her little, uh, is that a blade? Yeah, I think it's a little, little type of Cobra blade right there she has. And this one here, she's got this Cobra coil, the silver one. I believe this could be actually a whip. It looks like here is also part of the, uh, is a Cobra coil, it's part of the bike handle. And then of course you got two assault weapons and I believe they do link up and attach to the motorcycle. So we'll see that in a moment. Now on the back, okay, you've got again, this nice backdrop, okay, this very nice, like type of tech HUD backdrop. With in the back, you can see uh, Cobra Island is starting the Terra Drum right there in the back, guys. You know, I am actually quite excited later. I hope, you know, they do another re-endition of the Cobra series, revamp it, kind of similar how they're doing it with the Netflix version of the Transformers. It would be so cool if Netflix starts with the G.I. Joe. That would be great. 
All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and take a close look at is the Cobra Coil, basically the Baroness version or the Baroness's personal motorcycle. Or you could probably say this is the standard issue motorcycle that all Cobra Troopers use. Um, I'm not sure because, like, again, I'm just learning it back into this, you know, line. But anyways, as far as this goes, I do think that this looks a little bit cheap, guys. This is not really, you know, what you expect to be um, something of high quality because you guys can take a look, especially if you look at the... Uh, windshield right there I don't know if you guys can see from the angle um, it just does kind of look like a cheap plastic guys really <laughs> a kind of kids type of plastic these right here the wheels the tires itself you guys can feel um, it does feel a little bit like hard rubber so at least that's a good point all right uh, I would say that on other sides they could have maybe done a little bit better with just like making some parts a bit more painted because if you can take a look you know you already got some some edging and wear and tear on the side I, of course if you did this as a repaint by yourself I'm sure this would look a lot better but overall I mean for what it has as an accessory I think you know it's it's okay it's okay for what it does and right now you can see right here it sits it stands by itself perfectly however it does have the kickstand on the bottom them if you want you know I guess to you know better help support it but other than that it's just you know as far as it's turning uh, it's it's rotation there's not much there it doesn't actually you know the front the front wheels you're not gonna look at a big turn if you wanted to and so I mean again this is the only thing I think so far which I'd say would be a minor flaw would be that they could have done a better job they could have done a better job with the motorcycle. At least, you know, put a little bit more details on it, a little bit more painting. Um, I guess because this is supposed to be one of their standard figure lines, nothing really is, you know, special. They guess they kind of skipped on it. I mean, come on, the mufflers could have been chrome for, you know. But, uh, you know, okay, that's not a big deal. Uh, here we got the assault rifles, and the assault rifles, obviously, they will attach, you know, through the pegs right here on the side. So you got one over here, okay? And then you got one on this side as well. Okay, so basically her assault rifles, okay, can stick on the side, which, you know, is a good perk. And of course, you actually got the Cobra symbols logos on both sides. So, and then of course, there's a little bit of green detail over here. I guess those are going to be like, you know, representing like, you know, gauges, like fuel gauge, speed gauge, whatnot. But don't expect too much, guys, from the motorcycle, the Cobra coil. I don't think, again, that, you know, they, uh, I don't think they used a lot of, detailing and um it does just look like a very minor you know it just looks like a, just a very normal motorcycle to be honest nothing extremely too special that you would expect but still it's a nice i'd say it's a nice accessory okay it's a nice accessory all right guys and this is what everyone has definitely been waiting for you guys wanted to see the close-up of the baroness herself and you know i gotta say i would definitely you know give a high thumbs up for detailing in my opinion, okay, everyone else has their own opinion, but in my opinion, I think it's good detailing that Hasbro has done with the whole collection line so far. Obviously, you guys have seen the past review that I did with the uh, Cobra Commander, but, you know, for this not being something like an exclusive, I think it's been, you know, oops, sorry about the camera push there. I think that this is definitely a good, a good, you know, um, it's a good reminiscence of showing how Hasbro is, you know, come a long way. You can take a look already just by looking at her, you know, her, um, her arm pads, you know, to her, her styles around her back, her legs. Okay. Everything here has, you know, a quite a nice, it has a good representation of the Baroness. When you look at it, even from far away, you can actually immediately recognize that it's the Baroness. Now, one thing, okay, we're going to take a look at is its articulation. So basically from here, okay, you guys can take a look at her legs. Her legs can actually rotate all the way down, almost, you know, not, not quite touching all the way to the back leg, but, you know, eh, pretty good, not bad. And then her legs right here, her feet, okay, we got this right here, rotation up the top and the back, all right. And then, of course, the arms. Let's take a look at the arms. Arm-wise, let's see. Let's see. It can rotate all the way around. It's also got a ratchet on the side, so basically you can hear the clicking. Okay, so she can bring her arms up. Okay, she can't fold as far back with her, with her forearm as much as you would like. So just keep that in mind about this figure. Her forearm right there can't basically, that's as far, I think that's as far as it's going to go right there. So she's not going to be able to bring the arm all the way back to touch her shoulder but and then of course the waist waist wise i think you get a bit more 
uh, you get a bit more rotation than you do with Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander, I remember, he can only go back. She can actually, she can actually move forward a little bit, and then she can also push back. Okay, so there it is, right there. Headwise, okay, rotation. You can see she can turn and turn this way. Okay, but I think for again for me, I think the detailing. I mean, the head sculpt itself. She looks quite, yeah, she looks quite Baron-esque, if you guys want to, you know, know about that pun. Very Baron-esque. Look at the eyes. Look at her, you know, lipstick. And then, of course, you got the gold lining on the side of the frames of her glasses. I think, you know, really, they did a really good job with the head sculpt. I mean, it doesn't look, it doesn't look, you know, anything like in the past, you know, versions of Baroness. It doesn't look anything like, you know, kind of like cartoonish. This looks like a very more serious type of, you know, uh, Baroness right here. And it definitely... I definitely think this is a good addition to you know the line for sure. Now the accessories she has, she comes with two golden guns, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and show the golden guns. All right, so right here we got two golden guns, two golden pistols, and she does have the holsters in the back. So if you guys take a look, we can go ahead and put the holster right there. There's one golden gun. Okay, and we'll just go and slide that right there. All right, I want to keep touching her in the. <laughs> I don't want to keep touching her in the upper part of the chest, guys. Otherwise, I might get flamed for being a pervert. Yeah. All right, so here, let's put the gun slide right there. Of course, I think I'm holding her by the waist. It's actually not that great of an idea, too. All right, let's go ahead and see. We also got her Cobra Dagger. All right, so there's a the Cobra Dagger, guys. Right, let's go. Sh okay, there's a better focus on the knife. Okay, if we take a look at that, you can see the, the sculpt of the Cobra in gold. And then, of course, you know... The backside, it's okay. It's not, you know, it's not anything wowy or amazing, but it's all right, guys. It's all right. And she has, of course, a, a sheath right now for the blade, which she can put right here. Okay, there we go. Slide the sheath right there. So there you go. She got her side, her side blade, cobra blade right there. And then, of course, there's another accessory, which is this silver, silver, silver cobra. Now, I'm not quite sure what is the usage of this. I think it's a pet. It kind of at the beginning. I thought it was like a whip where she would actually hold it and it would act as whip. But actually, now that I look at it, I think it actually has to coil around her hand. You guys can leave a comment below and let me know more details because, like I said, I mean that, you know, you would have this coiled around right there on her arm would be the best pose or way, whatnot for her to use this, you know, this accessory right here, guys. So, yeah. But again, let me know in the comments below what you guys uh, recommend and the detail. But overall, guys, really, really, you know, it's a good version of the Baroness. All right, guys, so here she is kind of knelt down holding the two golden pistols in her hands. Now, again, uh, one other flaw I would assume or one other flaw I could say about this character is that it would be better if she did come with a couple of replaceable hands, kind of like with Cobra Commander, kind of like with the other action figures. This does not actually come with a pair of replaceable hands. What you see originally on her when you take her out of the box is the only hands she has. Okay, so now here she is combined posing with the Cobra Coil. You can take a look, basically, she does, you know, she does fit pretty well. I wouldn't say a perfect fit, but, you know, good enough. I mean, her her feet aren't exactly touching, you know, the pedals on the back. Uh, there's actually tabs over here if you want to put her uh, feet inside. You can take a look in the back. She does actually have the holes where you can actually stand her up over on that side. Um, however, here on the bike handles, be careful. You do need to put a little bit of pressure. Her hands, her gripping hands, because again, like I said, there's only one pair of hands. Um, you're going to need to, you know, be careful when you try to fit it inside. Squeeze it a little bit, but don't force it. Otherwise, I do believe that, you know, after time, those hands might might snap or bend a little bit back. So that's, again, a little bit of a technical difficulty there. I wish, you know, again, they give you a separate pair of hands like they do with some of the other action figures. All right, now here, she doesn't have the helmet. Now, the helmet part, okay, guys, is actually, you know, a separate head. So you do need to remove her head in order to put the helmet on. This doesn't actually fully go over her, you know, uh, sculpted head right here. So you guys are gonna have to be careful, you know, not to be, you know, make simple. All right, there we go. So the head comes off and you have that big ball joint right there, guys. So you guys can take a look. There it is, there's the ball joint. So, and of course, here we go, guys. This is the Baroness head right there. Go ahead and have a close up look. Yes, I took her head off, guys. So sorry, so sorry. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and take the helmet and replace, you know, her head with the helmet right here. So let me go ahead and hold that from the waist, and then I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. And there we go. So you know, to be honest, when she puts the when you replace with the helmet, it does a little bit look. It does look a lot better because 
her normal head, you know, the sculpted head, can't have that much of a rotation back. But this head, you guys can take a look because it's on a ball joint. You know, she can, she can, you know, she can make some pretty good poses right there, guys. I mean, it can, she can actually look up, right? Because you know, with her normal head, because of the hair, I believe, it doesn't actually look up. She can actually turn side, and so you know, that's that's good. It is good actually when you do want to pose the Baroness with the Cobra Coil, you're better off to use, you know, the helmet, the helmeted head as opposed to a normal head because you won't be able to get that full rotation, so. Okay guys, and in case you're wondering, yes, that is correct, Cobra Commander can fit on the motorcycle as well, or we're going to say the Cobra Coil. You can actually take a look, there he is right there. Um, it's not like, again, a perfect fit, but, you know, it fits well enough. Uh, you know, it, it actually gives you kind of like a Batman sort of feel, doesn't it, from the Dark Knight movies, guys. Ooh, you wanna play? Come on. Especially since, you know, Cobra, this version of the Cobra Commander has that awesome looking cape, guys. So, you know, and especially, look, guys, have you guys, you know, noticed the coloration actually kind of fits Cobra Commander's, you know, <laughs> style. I, I'm not sure if actually this accessory should better go with the Baroness or Cobra Commander, to be honest. I mean, if you look at it, the coloration and everything, don't you guys think that, you know, that color matches almost? All right, guys, here we go again. It's Baroness again, starting her dual wielding golden pistols. But wait a second, guys, there is somebody next to her who almost looks like a giant with stiletto heels. Who could that be? Who could that be? Let's go ahead and look up a little bit. It's it's Selena Kyle, guys, Catwoman from the Batman 3 movie. This is actually the one in six scale Hot Toys version of Selena Kyle, guys. So that is another size comparison. If you guys have the Batman's uh, Selena Kyle one in six version, you guys can take a look at the size comparison. Obviously, Selena Kyle is double the size of these six inch figures, but I thought it would be a nice rendition since both of these are very strong female characters in very, very, very well known, okay, stories guys wait cobra commander what are you looking at buddy what are you looking at Oops. come on come on stop looking all right guys here we go is back with cobra commander and this time he is now he's he's back his face to us because he's ready to be the well he's about to be the flag man eh looks like these two are gonna have a race it's gonna be the bat pod against the cobra coil there you go guys size comparison if you guys again want to take a look the size comparison of the cobra coil next to the bat pod with selena kyle it's a huge massive difference again of course the scaling is a size the scaling size is completely different but i just thought it would be pretty cool to have them side by side i mean again guys come on iconically you got two awesome female characters who of course you know show no bounds and i would definitely think in a race who would be faster? Do you think the Baroness or do you think Catwoman would win in a race between the Cobra Coil and the Bad Pod? Guys, please leave a comment below in the section and let me know what you guys think, okay? Girls, are you ready to go ahead and see who can put the pedal to the metal? What do you think? What do you think, guys? What is happening? Hey guys, thanks for watching the review. In my opinion, I think the Baroness, you know, for the figure itself, it definitely has its flaws, but then it definitely has its perks. I mean, definitely the head sculpt itself, I think is very nicely done. As far as the articulation, you guys could see itself, it could have been done a little bit better. I mean, they kind of skipped out on some details, especially with the Cobra Coil, it could have been had a bit more detail to it. But again, like I said, you know, it's a beautiful figure. It's still a beautiful figure, okay guys? Let's just put it that way. Uh, nicely done, good for some, some poses, but if you're looking for playability, uh, be a bit careful with it because again only one set of hands comes with it and as you guys saw her basically articulation with the arm joint okay she can't actually fully rotate her elbow not like the Cobra Commander figure um, but then again um, I thought for what it's worth you know it's good to have if you guys want to complete your set and I know you guys do as well as I do just to complete a set of these you know for sure if you guys can get her for a good price and not a scalp price guys not like a huge price unfortunately here in Hong Kong again guys I stressed enough we don't get those kind of deals that you guys can get on clearance at walmart but then again if it's something so special like this i can see how people take it and then just blow up the price like crazy which is very sad but in any case i didn't get to show these two characters because again i thought that i didn't want to make this video review too long i might decide later down the line to review these two characters let me know what you think but i think there's enough reviews about these two guys in my opinion because i see a lot of guys have already brought this out i might try to do something later on with you know like a collaboration you know i'll put these guys definitely because 
These guys are pretty cool. I mean, I like the Red Ninja. I like this Destro, pimp version of Destro. Actually, he, if anything, should go a little bit more with Baroness, but I thought the colors of Cobra Commander kind of fit that, you know, the Cobra Coil pretty well, if you guys admit. For me, I thought the Cobra Coil and the Cobra Commander colors were just spot on, really. Still, she is a good figure to have, especially since, hey, we all want to complete our collection, guys, don't we? Please remember to click that like button, subscribe, share this video, guys. Always remember, okay, I keep up up to date every week for new deals and new specialities here in Hong Kong, guys. And let me know again what more stuff you guys want to see in the comments below. I read all of your guys' comments. I try my best to reply to everybody. And any sort of critique, whether positive or negative, I will always take into consideration. Until next time, I'm Mr. Stan, and I'll see you guys on the next video.